All right, welcome back to video number three in this series on connected objects. Um, I just want to do like one more here, or I'm going to do possibly even two. Uh, I'm not going to solve them all the way down to the very answers, but I am going to get you to some of the forces on them. Uh, this is one other type of problem that you might end up working. And in this one, we've got a pulley at the top and a block on an inclined plane. And in this one, now if we wanted to make it easier, we wouldn't have a friction in here, but I'm going to uh, have a friction in it. I'm going to call this five kilograms. And I'm going to call, say that the other block weighs two kilograms. So we're probably going to get a pretty good little acceleration. Here's our directions of movements in this problem. Uh, I'm going to say that we've got a surface with a coefficient of 0.2 on it. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Oh, I'm still looking. Uh, we need an angle down here at the bottom. We'll say that this is a really steeper than 45 on, or 40 on my paper, but we'll go with a 40 degree angle. All right, so let's do a sum of the forces or a free body for each of these two objects. And we'll start with our sets of crosshairs here. Get this started. Let's do the one on the right first. It'll be much easier because you can see you're connected by the string again or rope. So we're going to have a tension going up, and I'm going to call these M1 and M2. So I'm going to say that I've got a M2G going down, and that's the only thing present on that object. Now this other object, we're going to have to, and this is the way you need to do these. When we've talked about this in other videos. Look at it like this when you get ready to kind of look at it. But first, we're going to take a look at it. We've got in this picture, we've got a, let's see if I've got a different color pen here. Oh, I do, except I just hit my own camera, messed this whole video up. There. So let's look. We've got in this picture, we've got a tension directed up. We've got a M1G straight down. We've got a normal force at 90 degrees to the plane. And we have got a friction directed straight back. Now, if this problem was nice, it would not have given us a friction in the problem. So now when we draw our picture, we can draw our picture free body just like this with our x and y axis. So the mg is going to be at the angle when we draw out our sum of the forces. So let's copy this picture into our free body. So let's turn it up. We've got a tension going directly to the right. So we've got tension going here. We've got the normal force at 90 degrees to the plane. We've got a friction mu in and the thing is notice the m1g is at an angle in this so when we copy it we've got to make sure that the m1g is at that angle by the way if this angle is 40 degrees then that means this angle is 40 degrees which we could use 50 degrees off the y-axis I'm going to use this 40 degree angle it's just the way I would do this problem all it's going to mean is by taking the angle off of the y axis, by taking the angle off of the y, I'm going to use sine for my sum of the forces x and cosine for my sum of the forces y's. So let's write out our sum of the forces. Sum of the forces x would be equal to, in this problem here, let's see, sum of the forces x would be equal to. T minus mu n minus M1G. Now, we could write cosine of 50, 
or sine of 40. I'm just going to write M1G sine of 40. And all this will be equal to M1A because ultimately it is moving to the right, positive X in my picture. Sum of the forces Y would be equal to N minus M1G and normally on the Y, I'd use sine if I were off of this angle. So I could go sine 50 or cosine of 40. That's equal to zero. Now the other object's got a really easy sum of the forces. No X, just the Y. So for the other object, we've got T minus M2G equals once again, this object is my falling object, so I'm going to write equals negative M2A. Now, the physics is over. This problem is currently just an algebra problem now. When you get ready to take a look at it, it's going to be easier to solve this equation for T and plug it in here, solve this equation for N and plug it in. So if we solve this equation, T would be equal to M2G minus M2A. Let's take and let's plug that in right here on the other side. So we'll come over to here now and have M2G minus M2A minus mu N. But for N, let's have N equal to M1G cosine 40. So we're going to solve this equation. N equals M1G cosine 40. We're going to plug it in. So minus mu M1G cosine 40 minus M1G sine 40 equals M1A. All right. Whew, got a little crooked on that one. Uh, let's take this M2A, bring it over, and be left with M2G minus mu M1G cosine 40 minus M1G sine 40 equals M1A plus M2A which your next step over here would be to factor that out and have M1 plus M2 is your A. And all that would be left in this problem would be is to plug in all your numbers at this point. And I'll go ahead and do it. I'm just feeling like a good guy. So M2 is 5. So this would be 5 times 9.8 minus mu is 0.2 times 4 times 9.8 cosine 40 minus M1 again is 2 about messed up here M2, M2 woo, go back to right here there's no M1 was a 2 so that should be a 2 right here my apologies. Minus 2 times 9.8. You get this many numbers. It is easy to mess up. So you need to go back and check like M1 and is 2. So that's where I kind of messed up what I was doing. And over here, of course, we're going to have uh, 5 and 2. So over here, this is going to be 7A. So let's plug this in and see what we get. I wasn't even going to, but... I'm kind of curious as of right now. So plug in this whole string, 5 times 9.8 minus 0.2 times 2 times 9.8 cosine 40 minus 2 times 9.8 times sine 40 equals divided by 7, 4.77. If you wanted to find your tension in this problem, 
come back straight to here, and you'd have your tension solved out. Now, sometimes these problems could give you an acceleration. If this problem gave you an acceleration, it probably was wanting you to solve four mu chances are in the problem, if that's what it had you doing. All right, so anyway, as we take a look at this problem, uh, I am going to do one more. I'm just going to do a sum of forces for a really giant, for a giant question. And that will be my number four. I'm talking this thing's going to have a block on top of a block and a block hanging off over here. I mean, this thing's going to be like, woo! But anyway, and that'll be the last and final, I'll call that number four. Uh, and that'll be the last of my connected objects.